Sadam. So this time of great evolutionary change that we're in right now, it's impacting all aspects of our life and especially in our relationships and how we relate to one another. And we've been conditioned to relate to each other through the ego, right? This is the old way of relating to one another from the Piscean age. And we're so conditioned to relate to one another through the, our ego is um, we're not even aware of it, right? We're unconscious of what we're doing. So I wanna focus on one area that's really important right now that will really help smooth out any rough edges in your relationships right with others but also with yourself is a thing called listening so we don't really listen to one another and we haven't been taught to listen to one another so there's a difference you know hearing is he hearing words through these two ears Right, sound vibrations are coming through the ears and then it's translated by the brain into words and language, right? So we can intellectually understand what that other person is saying, right? Pass the salt, okay, pass the salt. I pass the salt to the other person. That's hearing with two ears. Listening is something completely different. So hearing keeps you on the surface of life. Listening actually brings you into a deeper reality. The other dimensional realm that's going on when we communicate with one another. We're not just communicating through these words. We're communicating through our aura, through our electromagnetic field. We're communicating through our subtle bodies. We're communicating through our emotional self, our astral self. So there's all this subtlety that's happening at a much deeper level. And now in the Aquarian age, we're being called to go deeper, right? Deeper than just what we see on the external. So on the surface, there could be a communication that's not aligned with a deeper communication that's going on. So here's an example, a practical example. You're in an argument with your partner right and she or he says leave me alone i just want to be left alone so you hear those words right leave me alone okay i'll just leave that person alone but the deeper communication right when you uh, tune into the subtlety of what's really going on that person is not communicating leave me alone that person is communicating i'm vulnerable I am feeling sad, I'm feeling upset, I'm feeling out of control, and I want you to be with me, I want your presence with me right now, so that I'm able to be vulnerable and seen by another human being. So what does this take? It takes subtlety, a subtlety within yourself. This is the self-sensory system that's opening up now, right? Our whole awareness system is shifting and we're going to be more and more aligned with the subtle energies that are at play. So why is it so challenging to listen to another person? Like, what's the big deal? Why can't we do it? Well, it's very challenging to really listen to another person, especially if they're close to you. You know, they're a family member or, or your partner or close friends or people you have karma with in your workplace. It makes listening very, very challenging because we have to look at our emotional self. And right now the emotions have such a huge part to play in our awakening, right? Our awakening to spirit awareness. And this is from the solar flares, right? All the sun activity that's going on right now. It's triggering our solar plexus to start releasing these buried emotions. So here's a practical example, just so that you can see the inner workings of this. And you, you may have already discovered this on your own. I wish they would have taught this stuff when I was a kid in school. Could have saved a, a lot of heartache, you know, how to be a human 
forget calculus and math and uh, history, right? <laughs> Raw revisionist history and the lies, like just teach us how to be human and to relate to one another. That's for the future. Okay, so here's the scenario. You and your partner. Partner says, you never, you didn't take out the garbage. You never take out the garbage. I do everything around the house. You do nothing. So those are the words coming out of your partner. Probably with some anger too, behind those words, most likely. So you, personally, this is what would happen with you. You, you would be emotionally triggered. So emotionally triggered means you got poked right, right through the solar plexus. The solar plexus starts unleashing these emotions and these emotions are high voltage. There's no escaping your emotions. You know this when you're in a state of anger or sadness, right? It's, just, it's, it's overwhelming. You can't think straight. Okay, so the trigger, let's, let's throw a story on it, right? So the emotions come up, anger comes up within you. So this could have cut, these buried emotions in the solar plexus could come from when you were a child, when your mother criticized you, when you were at school and the school teacher criticized you. And what was there was shame, a lot of shame. Shame gets buried in a child, right? Child buries it deep in the solar plexus. And then now this, you don't take the garbage out, is poking you to release that shame. But the mind and the ego don't want you feeling shame. And so it's masked over by anger. So the game of the mind and the ego in this scenario is to keep you in anger and keep you away from shame. So there we go back to your partner, right? All your you're, you're hearing nothing, right? You're not hearing anything from her or him. They're just like a mouth moving at this point. Blah, 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 blah. Because the ego mind just threw a black bag over your head and all you experience now is your own ego. So you're experiencing the thoughts from your ego and you're seeing that other person from the lens of your ego. You're not there anymore, you're gone. You're not hearing, you're not listening, right? You're completely hijacked by the ego. So then the, the thoughts start coming up because right, the ego mind doesn't want you at the shame, doesn't want you to feel that shame. So defensive thoughts start, right? She doesn't respect me. She's always nagging me to do this. Well, like why does she bother me with this stuff? And then the defensive thoughts start. I do do lots of things around the house. This is what I did last week and last month, right? So what the mind is doing now is waiting to reply. There's no listening going on. There's no energy flow at all. So do you see how this works, right? It's very simple when you kind of break it down into the steps. So what do you do? Because people want something to do, right? Like, well, what do I do with this awareness? Well, the awareness first is you need to take care of your emotional self. It has nothing to do with your partner, right? That shame, that anger, whatever that emotion is coming up to be released has nothing to do with that other person at all. That shame has lived within you long before you ever met your partner, right? It's already in you. But your agreement with these people, your karmic relationships are to poke you so that you can feel this. So there's a payoff to this. Like don't get afraid in, of your emotions. We've been conditioned to, to perceive emotions as bad and wrong and hysterical, right? And they're not to be trusted. And right now we're in a time where you need to feel these emotions. Okay, so when you start to feel these emotions, there's a spaciousness that comes. There's a spaciousness that comes. And this is your, this is what we want, right? This is the spirit awareness where you become a clear vessel for the divine, 
right, to work through you and to serve the whole of humanity with your gifts and talents. So what you do first is you take responsibility. No, my partner is not making me feel angry right now. It's just anger is arising within me. And be authentic, be transparent. This is, time, this is the time to be authentic and transparent with somebody. And that means vulnerable. So that may mean saying, I'm feeling a lot of anger right now. I don't know why. You don't need to know why. You don't need a reason or a story. I'm feeling angry right now. This is not a great space for me to be in, to, to, to talk to you, to communicate to you. So maybe we could do it at a later time, right? So this is how you approach these like high voltage um, exchanges that you're having in your life right now. So you don't want to come at another person with ego, especially if they're coming at you with ego, right? Ego fighting ego, there's no winner. There's never a winner in that. So true listening is listening with your heart, not your two ears and your mind. True listening is to understand another person, right? That's why we listen. We don't listen to control another person. We don't listen to reply to another person to defend our point of view. All that's ego stuff. True listening is to understand that other person. And we all have that capability within us to have that kind of uh, potential for empathy. Different than sympathy. Sympathy is like, I, I think I can, I can understand what you're feeling. True empathy is to actually feel that other person and feel their feelings. And we all have this ability, if we go to the depths, right, the depth of who you are as a spiritual being on this planet right now. So a few yogic things that you can do with uh, listening is to bring your uh, hands in uh, Bodhi Mudra, Okay, and that's the thumb and the baby finger touching. That's ruled by Mercury, our baby fingers. So you can do that, like apply a pressure point, especially if there's no words that are there in the moment. Sometimes the words aren't there, but you want to speak from that depth of being. You do this mudra, right? Within nine seconds, so there should be a flow of words. The other uh, yogic, thing you can do, especially if you're really being overwhelmed by your emotions. Doesn't mean you're wrong or you're bad, you're not doing something right. This is just how this vehicle operates, right? With the emotions and the mind entangled together. So this meditation will disentangle the mind, the thoughts from the mind from the emotions, okay? So just click on the link above my head and you only have to practice this three minutes to five minutes. So right, if you're feeling completely overwhelmed at work, you just hightail it in the bathroom and just do this meditation really quickly. It's really easy to do. So be sure to send this to anyone in your life that's really struggling with a lot of conflict, especially in their relationships right now. This will help just, you know, clear a space. It's really about understanding what's going on. It's just, it's so empowering. Okay, Sadnam. <laughs> <laughs>